So this is just a quick video to show you the tools uh, that I use for just making the drawings before I decide to ink them or colour them. So first off, I generally use a 2B charcoal pencil. This is for what I'd use when studying and practicing. So I normally use this for like big sweeping drawings on A3 bit of paper. Uh, I sharpen it like this uh, based on a uh, couple of videos I saw on YouTube, one based on Proko, he's got a great video on how to sharpen a pencil like this and once I started using one of these it really changed a lot for me. So prior to uh, sharpening a pencil like this I used to use this uh, forehand grip I think it was called and draw like that um, but after, after making it like this long tip uh, developed more of an overhand grip, you end up drawing a lot more from the shoulder and then you can also develop control but you can also treat it more like a, a brush, which is really fun, really pleasant. So that's what I use mostly for studies and things like that, like a figure drawing and whatnot. When I am drawing uh, pieces in my uh, sketchbook, like one of these, I generally stick to a traditional pencil. So just a shitty Montmartre 2B or 3B. That's exactly the way it would Everyone knows how they work. Um, you'd have seen all of these before. Um, the other two things I use a lot of is uh, mechanical pencils. So this is a two millimeter lead holder that I just got off Wish or eBay or something for a few dollars. Um, this fits a, a Staedtler sharpener. These are fantastic because uh, rather than having to like stop and sharpen all the time, you just click it click it in the hole, whoops, did that wrong, uh, put it in here and rotate, and you can get this to a, like, almost like a needle tip if you want to do detail stuff. So that's really cool. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, that's just 2B lead functions like every other 2B lead. Um, this is a fancy Staedtler 2mm lead holder. Um, in this I have like a, a red waxy crayon like lead that I got off the internet. Um, I use this for a lot of roughs because if I want to take something into Photoshop, you can then select for the color red and remove it from the background. Um, I mean, or you could just make a layer on top and then draw with that. So again, whoops, you can, uh, you can get actually a really nice deep red with this. A lot of people normally use blue for that, but uh, I feel blue's a little bit hard to see in certain light when I'm sitting around the house drawing, so I prefer to use a red one. Um, the other two mechanical pencils I use, normal standard mechanical pencils. So this one is a Pentel Technicolic. This one I love a lot because rather than having the, uh, the lead clicker on the back here, it's this little button here down by your thumb. So instead of having to be drawing something and then you're running out of lead and having to readjust what you're doing, you can sort of maintain your flow. And just... So I much prefer that. Um, this one is also a really cool, it's a Kuru Toga um, by Uniball, I think they are. Um, this unfortunately does have the clicker all the way up here on the back, but it does have this other really cool feature in that down here in this part of the pencil, it has a ratchet mechanism. So every time you touch that, it rotates around its axis a little bit so you don't uh, blunt the pencil um, as frequently. So this is really good for handwriting and such. Uh, if you're going to keep it on its side and keep pressure on, then it will blunt. But I'll see if you can um, see up in here. Mm, the lighting's not very good, sorry. No, you can't see it. Never mind. But I mean, if you Google it, it'll show you how the ratchet mechanism works. Um, also, I've had both of these for like, hmm, since the beginning of uni, so eight years. So that if you don't lose them, they they last forever. Um, other drawing supplies. If I'm doing a whole proper grey lead drawing and nothing really else, I've got one of these graphite sticks. Uh, so it's like a woodless pencil for shading really large areas. That's really cool. You can get these in like all the, the same grades, I think, of a normal pencil. Um, 
other things, uh, white charcoal. I don't think charcoal actually comes in white, um, so I don't think this is actually genuine charcoal. But if you're drawing on mid-tone paper, this is uh, good for highlights. Oh, shit. Um, I don't know if you can. So yeah, using the, the white charcoal to go in here and do your highlights. Now, I did just read, funnily enough, in um, Andrew Loomis's book on uh, figure drawing for all it's worth that you shouldn't shouldn't do that unless you're you know exactly what you're doing um, And frankly, I don't so I should probably ease up on that um, leaning on it a bit too much um, And finally uh, So I know I was talking about drawing with a standard like just a normal 2b or 3b pencil. I got these Mars Lumograph uh, black pencil uh, I got it in a little tin of 2B, 4B, and 6B. These are really good because these don't um, have as much graphite shine. So if you have like a standard graphite pencil, which I just put here, and you, you end up doing too much of this, you end up with a real glossy, polished, shiny look because this is graphite. And graphite is a sort of lubricant that can be buffed. Uh, these uh, Mars Lumograph pencils are a combination of graphite and charcoal. So it's somewhere in between those two fellas. So it functions more like a graphite. It doesn't have that dry, scritchy feel like charcoal does. But it's not as shiny. It doesn't give you that buff, polished look that's really actually quite gross. Um, let's see if I can catch the light here. See how that one on the left reflects? So yeah, so these are really worthwhile. They're not cheap though. I think it was like 15 or 18 bucks for a pack of five or six. But if this shiny stuff pisses you off as much as me, then it's probably worth investing. Another trick, actually sharpening your graphite pencils like you do for the charcoal ones um, is a good stand-in if you don't have this handy. Anyway, that's everything I use to draw. Not that you need anything fancy. I mean, here I've got a Kino pencil that I nicked from the pub that I used for a good long while and it did the trick. I mean, it's just like a, a HB. So, you don't need to have really awesome supplies to get underway with drawing, but, you know, once you get going and you like, find the things you like and develop your preferences, then you probably have this many pencils in your pocket. Alright, thank you for watching.